All right, this video is called Roasting All Fortnite YouTubers. It's only four minutes, so let's give it a watch. Everyone keeps telling me we've been roasted. Hey guys, I for PK here, back with another educational, educational commentary. Today I'm going to teach all of you how to box fight. So what you want to do is your opponent is going to be attacking you like this. This is where the educational videos come in. So what I like to do now, follow closely, is do this. We killed him. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like the video in the next five... React harder? Jack, I, I don't know. I don't know how to react to that. Noah's Noah roasted me, I guess. Very weak roast. If I'm being honest, I just don't think it's worth responding to. Can we copy strike him? He took he took our he took our outro. We got to copy strike him. Hey, Would you consider yourself a pro? I'm a pro, but maybe not a top tier pro. It's just I don't put enough time into practicing competitive play. My skill set is pretty good. My mechanics are pretty good. Obviously, it could be better. I could I could work my mechanics more. Wow, dude. Wow. Here's what here's what I'd say. I would say that I'm probably not. I'm probably not. Like definitely not in the top 100 like pro players ever. But if there was like a top 500 list, I would be there somewhere. And if I focus way more on competitive instead of like creating content, I could potentially break the top 100. But that's not something that I'm necessarily striving for because <coughs> for me right now, it's more important to uh, grow my brand, which we have been doing a good job of. I want to say I'm top 100. Like, I feel like I, I feel like I'd be close when I'm when I'm you know playing or scrimming frequently i'd be close but if you want to be like top 100 you have to you have to like really practice and scrim every day and box fight and and do all that uh all that competitive stuff like every day you have to i feel like just i feel like just the fact that you know i play a lot I feel like because I play the game a lot and because of just my like naturally like like uh, you know like smart decision making and you know game IQ like that carries me like to what I do accomplish like whenever I do well in competitive settings um, like doing well in the duo world cup qualifier you know we made we, 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 we got a couple top 20 uh, finishes and a top four finish. Uh, doing well in cash cups like the last couple cash cups we got you know top 50 top 25 uh, we earned some money um like whenever that happens it's it's mainly just like my the fact that i play the game a lot and then like i have good decision making and like good game iq that kind of carries me through that um but if you want to like really finish at the top it can't just be that like you have to also be very very cracked mechanically like extremely cracked mechanically and you also have to scrim a lot more and have a lot more end game experience um to do well but that's just not that's just something that you know it, it requires so much time you know a lot of the pro players they spend like eight to ten hours a day playing the game um and that eight to ten hours consists of like box fights build fights scrims and that's it and like they don't even really play pubs or anything like that they don't have time to do all that that's what you gotta do can you explain what mechanics are mechanics is just like how well you can uh you know aim build edit like all that stuff is mechanics
big pot real quick. Why oh, is everyone using pistols? I think everyone's just like, what? <laughs> Wait, this guy had so many mats. Holy crap. You think it'd be too late for a decent player to start trying to earn money and get better at the game? Hmm, you know what's funny that you asked that? Because just the other day I was talking about what it takes to be good at Fortnite. And, and dude, if you like, listen, man, if you have like a real job, you have like real responsibilities, you know, you have aspirations to like get accepted into a good college and you have an ambitious degree choice and career choice. It, it would be hard. It'd be really, really hard to get so good at the game that you earn money, like substantial money from it. Like, there's a reason why a lot of the pro Fortnite players are younger. It's because there's just less responsibilities. Um, but like, it's not. It's not just like, oh, like, oh, they're young, so they're like cracked mechanically. They're like, no, like, dude, there's so many cracked twenty to twenty-five to thirty-year-olds. It's just like those usually are the people who are gonna be streaming like all the time because they play the game all the time. Like, I play the game all the time. I have good aim, good builds. You know, I do okay in tournaments when I'm really passing top 100, top 50, whatever. Like, I do good. And I'm older compared to most of the pros. But it's because this is my job, right? But, like, if I had, like, a normal job or if I was going to school or if I had, like, you know, kids to take care of, dude, like, I don't think I'd be able to be this good. Like, it's just, like, too too much... Too much uh, responsibility. To, and the time that you have to commit is, is a lot. Um, you know... A lot of these kids are convincing their kid, their parents to let them take online school. And like, honestly, the only people should, who should be taking online school are the actual pro players. Like the real pro, pro players should be taking online school. There's some kids who don't have even a hundred dollars in earnings and they've somehow convinced their parents to let them take online school. I don't, I don't, I mean, this is, this is like new news to me, but apparently it's like a very common thing that a lot of kids are convincing their parents to let them drop out of normal high school to like focus on Fortnite and they don't even place in the money. Oh my god. I thought I got hit, bro. Why is this guy freezing on me, bro? Bro, are you trying to fight? Or are you trying to be a little...
Oh my god. I should have trapped him when I had the chance. I don't know why I didn't. I wasn't sure if he was in my box. I knew he had the floor so he could potentially edit out. So I didn't want to risk that either. Everyone's got a sniper. Holy crap. Are you for real? out of mats you're out of mats too because you're playing like a freaking you know what just running away like that it's like i just gotta get placements bro i'm almost top 10 if i launch pad twice and use all my mats maybe i'll get top 10 can't believe that guy was blessed with two launch pads what a shame what a shame I don't know what to do now. <laughs> he was good though. Nah, guys, come on. Let's not let's not give the good tag to players like that. Let's not give the good tag to players like that. Kind of worried about how many people were sniping. A lot of snipes. Hmm. Ninja join the party. I'm in I'm in the Kiki Discord. Ah that was my chance. I blew it. I think I have to waste all his mats to get him to fight me now. I got mats. That little rat was trying to get away from me. I build up on this guy with the... Uh... The rock launcher. I can burn through all 600 metal pretty quickly.
And I know he's I know he's a coward because he hit, he hit this guy with a rocket and then didn't, didn't like even apply any pressure with his AR or even come down and try to finish him or anything like that. So I know he's like a baby. Big baby. Purple tack. Oh shoot. Wait, I have a launch pad? What the hell? When, when I get the launch pad? Why'd you say so, chat? Ooh, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Free kill, baby! You a free kill! If you bout it, bout it. Well, then say so. I said, if you're about it, about it, well then say so. Oh, gotcha. 